You might not think that a few simple words can make you crave McDonald's breakfast sandwiches. But if you listen closely to the sound of me saying McGriddles, McMuffin, you might be wrong. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. For the ones who know that a little late is always too late. And that the clock doesn't stop just because you're missing a part. Granger offers supplies and solutions for every industry. And our Keep Stock inventory management solutions help ensure you have the right stuff in the right place at exactly the right time. Visit Granger.com slash Keepstock to learn more. Granger for the ones who get it done. Christopher Media, the Weedsman Podcast. Here's rickets, polio, conjunctivitis, AIDS. AIDS. Let's just, let's just go hog wild. Begin the car accident, you just <laughs> use a little bit, you'll be fine. Yeah, rub it on your car and yourself. <laughs> It'll fix your car and your bones. <laughs> Try this special trick to get out of traffic tickets with Rick Simpson oil. Rub it on the cop. <laughs> He'll just go away. <laughs> <laughs> the Weedsman Podcast. Every Friday on iTunes and ChristopherMedia.net. Christopher Media. Let's make some noise. Christopher Media. Let's make some noise. From Asmacore Studios near Detroit, Michigan, it's Unregimented. Gangsters, what's up, guys? Hey, it is another episode of Unregimented. I am Chris. I'm Jay. I'm Aaron. And I'm Rich. So I, I noticed she didn't yeah. post that podcast. Yeah, I actually fucking listen to the podcast. Um, I know she didn't post that podcast where I had my rant. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. We're, we're just right. getting to that batch. Okay, okay. It'll go up starting All tomorrow. Right. All right. Or for those of you listening a week and a half but ago. I, I'm going to say this. is You guys can tell me to shut the fuck up the next time I mention the Walmart thing. You can totally tell me to I shut the fuck know. up. Because, it, it's, because I drive that point every fucking time. All right. But it was really weird. But I probably won't. You had I was, your pet cause. Yeah. It was really weird that Did I was. Did you see they're getting a raise? Yeah. <laughs> a pittance. But um, it was weird because I was playing Battlefield 4, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to listen to the podcast while I'm playing. And yeah. I found myself so distracted by the podcast and listening to it that I was like, because I actually listened to the one that I wasn't in. I listened to the one that was rich in, in you guys. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, well, I don't have to hear myself talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for listening, liking, and sharing on Regimented on Facebook, following us on Twitter at Unregimented Pod. Thanks for all of the new followers on Twitter with Unregimented. Appreciate it. You can subscribe to Unregimented on iTunes for free by clicking through the iTunes banner on ChristopherMedia.net. Android users, you can find this show on Stitcher Radio. If you like what we do and you would like to show your support for us, you can donate to Christopher Media by using the PayPal button on ChristopherMedia.net. Please click through the Amazon banner and bookmark the page. It won't cost you anything extra, and when you buy something, it will help to show your support for Christopher Media. Every Monday through Friday, you can check out a new episode of a Christopher Media show. Monday and Thursday, you get Unregimented. Tuesdays, you're going to get the Weisman Podcast Nugget, which is the precursor for the big show on Fridays. Wednesdays, you have the Projection Booth. Check those guys out, projection-booth.com. A lot of buzz starting to circle those guys. Check them out. Even now, uh, we were interviewing a podcaster from Canada a few weeks back, and he shouted them out. So they got reach. People like them. Check them out every Wednesday, the Projection Booth. ChristopherMedia.net. If you're looking to launch your own website, please click through the HostGator banner at ChristopherMedia.net. That's who we use to host all of the Christopher Media shows, and when you sign up for HostGator by clicking through our link, you're helping to support ChristopherMedia.net. DraftKings.com, daily fantasy sports leagues, no season-long commitments. You can enter free or paid contests and win your share of over $200 million in prizes. Football's done, but we got basketball. There's even fantasy MMA now. Still curious on how that works. And baseball season coming up. I know about a month here, baseball drafts are going to be starting, but if it's sports, they got it on DraftKings.com. There's there's fantasy something. When you click through the DraftKings banner at ChristopherMedia.net, you will get a free first-time deposit bonus when you sign up for DraftKings. Kings.com. So how the hell is everybody? Not bad. Good. 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 I can't really complain too much. Glad you're in Michigan, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> Glad to be in Michigan. Glad all my tech's finally working. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. No, that that's awesome right there. That that didn't cost you anything. Even if that would have cost you a hundred bucks, it would have been worth it. Yeah. They want to charge me three. And I said fuck you. Three hundred? Yeah. It still would have been worth it. No, it wouldn't have. Not to me. Uh, I know what you're. No, the, I the, the, the points I made. I'm not the Apple store, so oh, you don't no, have I to know. sell it. But I'm just saying, as far as like tech goes, yeah. Instead of buying yeah. a new fucking I laptop, mean, if you consider that you got that thing three hundred dollars, actually, probably even a little bit more than three hundred dollars under 
Apple pricing by no, buying it secondhand. It was an update that killed it. And then right? you get a new, practically new computer. I'd say it'd still be worth it. Yeah, it was an update that killed it, right? Principally, well, I understand according that. According to everybody I've talked so, to in the last <laughs> followed week. followed my eyeballs. <laughs> it was like... Is it. A lot of times, updates will expose hardware problems right. that have been there. festering. Right, yes, and I agree with that. And that's apparently what happened. Yeah, it amplifies them. And boy, did it amplify something. Yeah. Because pretty much everything below this, my screen is brand new now. So. That's awesome. Well, congratulations. Hey, I got I'm the com- glad you got your Apple back. I really am. I'm too... Because I was pissed. It's like, my my Apple my Apple bashing is just for fun most of the time. Oh, I know. I I get it. Yeah. I just don't want one. <laughs> just I was on the phone like, listen, this is not what I paid for. This is not why I bought it. If this is my experience, have a nice day. My run with you will be six months as far as your computers go, and I'll be changing all of my devices over accordingly. Fucking, I don't know. My, I, I realized I was trying to get customer service from a tech guy, and interacting with you has helped me realize that. I'm like, wait, this guy is not equipped to handle the situation now. No, he no. was equipped to get me through anything technical, but yeah. now this is out of his realm. Mm-hmm. Now he's now because he basically came in with the the line of, yeah, sorry, dude, computers break, they're mechanical. Right, sometimes <laughs> it happens. <laughs> yeah. It happens, bro. You, you know, know like, my whole point was like, dude, this computer's not even. This computer's barely over two years old. The whole reason I got this thing is because. The whole reviews on them are pretty much like these things are fucking tanks, you know. And yeah, I don't know. I, 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 and they I, are. I mean, I know a lot of people who abuse the fuck out of their MacBooks. Yep. Mm-hmm. They toss them around and shit. And I, well, I fucking abuse the shit out oh, of my iPad. Oh, there he is. Hello, Richard. Hi, Rich. Hey, Hello. what's going on, guys? Hey, there he is. How am I coming through? You are coming Beautiful. through loud and clear. How do we sound to you? You guys sound very good in the mix. So All right, nice. good, good. You sound like you're sitting right next to us. So how have you been? Uh, working uh, frantically. Yeah? Yeah, trying to uh, get ready for this move coming up. It's going to be interesting. A move? Anything we can talk about? Yeah. I, dude, life's an open book. I just <laughs> won't name names sometimes. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> it's like Dragnet. We're changing the names to protect the innocent. Or the, Man, or the guilty as hell. Yeah, have, guilty as a motherfucker, yeah. I have much. done my fair share of moving. But yeah, um, been sick for the last week or so, so I had this dry cough. And it's not the heavy. Believe me, I went to the doctor and he was like, no, it's not the heavy and it's not the lung cancer. You just have, uh, what is it? What is the shit? You have pneumonia, bronchitis, bronchitis tuberculosis. Bronchi- bronchitis. Bronchitis. Thanks. Too much bronchitis. So, pertussis. <laughs> yeah, I need some tussin. Yeah, <laughs> you got the touch of that Ebola. Hey man, Windex and Tussin fixes everything. <laughs> uh, apparently, shit. I just need some, but uh, yeah. So I'll try to hang in as long as I can with you, gentlemen. Well, we're glad to still count you amongst the living. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm still breathing, so I guess I'm ahead in the game. Yeehaw. Yeah. This is gonna be a good podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, was, sorry, gentlemen. I just I had to I rebooted the computer that way. It was you know. No, I mean we all just and, got together to too. Go. So yeah, I just got here. Oh, I thought. Oh, I thought maybe I called in the middle of it. My mm-hmm. bad. Nope, nope. You weren't interrupting. Nope. Your timing's perfect. No, I was late. I was just telling them the story of going to somebody's house that I don't quite a hundred percent trust, and they asked me vaguely to come over. So I holstered up, and I had to let these guys know that I'm holstered up. So oh, out of respect. So. You will not be trapped. having fun tonight, but everyone else can. <laughs> well, I haven't been having fun for fucking two months, so <laughs> I'm waiting for this job change to happen. Which what he's is, saying is if shit goes down tonight, we're covered. Oh, you're covered. That's right. <laughs> I got six rounds that we can clear out. <laughs> when shit Something goes breaks down. breaks into the podcast studio. <laughs> Break yourself, fool. <laughs> Everybody's going to hide behind yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. <laughs> Like, yeah, except, for, except for me i'm not there i'll hide yeah. behind my cat yeah so, uh, there we go You're like hey shoot this pussy first i'm like bin laden here kill her first we'd be like immediately he's got the gun yeah no don't do that <laughs> no no you don't do that i don't even like telling people i have it but yeah. just out of respect to being in somebody's house yes you know? yes when the shit goes down hell yeah he's playing yeah. it <laughs> Sorry, it's, 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 see, it's where, yeah, it's where my voice is. Uh, so I sound like you sound, I sound like, like you're going Colin, through puberty. I sound like Colin Quinn going through puberty. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah. Fuckers, Fuck, yeah, right there. But yeah, man. So you, I can't be doing what I want to be doing when I'm listening to Cypress Hill. God, mm, damn. But I'm gonna. So you're Go gonna be it. moving 
while the snow's still out, huh? No, no, I'm trying. Nope. I'm trying to wait till the to the weather breaks. Oh, you're lucky. I've done a lot of moves in the winter time. Whereabouts you moving to? Uh, Redford, unfortunately. Damn. One yeah, uh, night, just huh? farther away, farther <laughs> away. Moving on up, huh? Yeah, not not like that one hit wonder song. Moving on up. No, not like that. I'm, but uh, no, man. Fucking uh, eventually, uh, I got I, I I've taken care of some of my driving stuff, my yeah. uh, car issues. Um, hopefully within the next. <laughs> Legal yeah. Rich. Yeah. <laughs> what we can't get no two two seven in this bitch. Yeah. Oh no <laughs> shit. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> Bring in the 20th century. <laughs> Rich Excuse is staying me. on the west side, too, so. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh. They... Beans don't burn on the grill. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck, man, that's the jam, dude. Shit, I grew yeah. up with that shit. Oh, shit. Anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, um,. Hopefully everything car wise will be taken care of here soon, and I can just drive out and bother you motherfuckers in person. Yeah, it's much better. Be a good time. It's much better be life. <laughs> I know when I can when I can look in the uh, deep into the eyes of the people that I offend. It's, it's better, <laughs> better that way. Yes, look deep into your eyes and go fuck you. By the way, guys, I have had a shit day. There you go, Rich. It's my request. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about it, Rich. Tell us about your shit day. How do you feel? How does that make you feel? No, I was, I, I was just waiting it. for the theme song. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's jamming. Hell, Williams. But uh, no, so I'm ready to. I'm, I'm lock cock, ready to rock. I'm ready to fucking just be fucking hating on everything and everybody. But but I'll, I'll do it with a smile. So let's do this. Well, what's grinding your gears, Rich? No, I'm, anything in I'm particular? Good. Anything piss you off lately? <laughs> Besides anything and everything, gentlemen, it's it's sadly just everything going on in my life. It has nothing to do with fucking anything that anyone would give a fuck about, except for people who are in my immediate AO. So it's no big deal. It's just people in general just disappointing you. Well, I mean, dude, you know, work shit, and who who wants to? The only thing more boring to talk about or listen to someone talk about when when they talk about their work shit is their fucking fantasy football team. So, <laughs> or, or their know, dreams, or their dreams. Yeah, you know. that's that's a major one. Yeah. We can talk about fantasy baseball team. Negative. Ha. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Talk about my fantasy back page team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, your fantasy what now? Back page team. Uh, a I'm, team I'm, of hookers. You, go look at oh, back page. Oh, back page. Yeah. Back page. I was, I was like, like come saying. on, Rich. You know what back page is. Oh, I can't, wait a minute. No, well, no, I have to educate Rich I, on back page? What? I thought you had like, the preferred member, the preferred customer card. <laughs> Shit, they still, they, every month they take, well, five ninety five just for me to look at it. No, every, I got you. I, every I, Ted I, punch is a free one. <laughs> yeah, to read the reviews. Yep, yep, yep. I got you. Damn. But no, I, I played I, Cassandra I, I this week, and she ended up getting VD. Hey, man, Out. fuck it. <laughs> I want that so Fantasy bad. back page? No, I want that so bad. <laughs> maybe you could no. gamble on the venereal diseases they can track. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, hey, hey Jay, can, Jay can maybe relate to this. It's when you're in a situation where you're... Uh, you're 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 miserable, but you can't really talk about it because the wrong person might hear you talk about it, and it gets back to the person that's making you miserable. That doesn't you help know? anything. I, honestly, man, <laughs> is if, that a metaphor if, for if, being married? If, if, if yes, so, yes. If somebody makes me miserable, especially that person, I'm going to let them know because if I'm miserable, yeah. they're going to be fucking miserable too. <laughs> well, unfortunately, unfortunately, sometimes I mean, and we're just talking. I get it, though. I know what you mean. We're just talking. I mean, you know, hypothetically. In a work situation, someone might hear something. Yeah, you know. Eh, 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 so you, you yeah. have to. I've done that a few know. times on this show and went, "Oh man, can you edit that out for me, please?" <laughs> well, dude, here's the thing: the, the more honest you are, the the better of a podcast it is. But right. the more you put yourself out there, is the more you're putting yourself out there, and it's not like it's not like we're going to collect Social Security off this shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So right. right. I, I I can't collect unemployment off a podcast, and there's nothing against, and that and it's, and it's not meant to be a smart ass comment. It's just the truth. No, yeah, fair. 
and and unfortunately, because I think Chris uh, understands that. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and and because you know, I I I work with a tight you know knit group of people. I've turned a few people on to the podcast, and I don't. <laughs> when it turns into fucking Nazi Germany, and you don't know who you can fucking talk to and who you can't, it's oh, like well, nobody I work no with fun. has any idea about this I, at all. I misstepped the other day and said something to a guy I work with, and he's like, "What podcast? What what, what podcast you done?" I'm like, no, "What what are you talking about? This is not the droid you're looking for." <laughs> and he's yeah. like, "What? No, Jedi wait a mind trick is ass. I'm like, "No, no." Like when no. I started all this, anybody who was even remotely related to my job on Facebook, have a nice day. Yeah. Nothing personal. Yeah. Yeah, I have two Nuked people. and nobody, nobody at yeah. work has any that does not have the fucking faintest idea that I do this. My work yeah. knows, but they just don't give a fuck. They, I mean, I know that they're not going to ever listen. Yeah. That's fine. They're probably like well, whatever NPR. I, but I lucked out on that. Well, here's yeah, the thing. Exactly. The most part, most part, I know most people don't give a fuck, but it's that one person yep. who's going to fucking look for that. Well, that's all it don't takes. Do, Cause they'll tell everybody else. Go weed. through the podcast randomly and find that one where I said some shit, and then just isolate it and hand it to the wrong person at yeah. work. Where I'm like, well, it has to be that person. <sighs> yeah. That, it, well, it'll be that person that's looking for it too. So you know. Yeah, yeah. Because that, that's a know, certain that's, type of person that I'm. Yeah, I am, right. I am not that. No, I can be. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'm a vindictive motherfucker, man. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing when you've got it out for somebody, but there's a type of person who's just like, they hear some news about somebody and they just yeah. got to go yeah, tell them. Right. Yeah, that's fucked up. Even if they have that's no the dog in the fight. Right. They just get well, uh, pleasure yeah, out it, of. What like, is that? The Corolla talks about it all the time. The, yeah. the I just thought you should know person. Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. what have you gained by this? Yeah. What is, yeah. you just wanted to be a fucking Ooh. narc? Attention. That's what they gain. Uh, yeah. That's what they gain by it. Well, see, here's 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 something else that, that that's going on in my life, and I'm pretty sure it's happened in you guys' lives before. Is uh, you know, shit starts happening in your circle of friends, and. You know, you 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 may be like like uh, you're privy to it, but you just don't give a fuck. It just doesn't it doesn't pay your bills. It's not fucking you. It's not feeding you. It's not clothing you. You don't give a yeah. fuck no more. Doesn't make you happy or make you money. Exactly. Yeah. So it's 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 just an interesting side note to your day, and then you move on with your day. The problem is, is that your friends. You know, if you have a group of friends who go back far enough, they start going. Well, you know, back in the day. You know, you would have been all over that. Well, back in the day, I'd have fucked a 16-year-old, too. The thing was, I was 17 when I would have fucked a you know, 16-year-old. So what, what the fuck does it matter? What the fuck back in the day would have, you know? Well, it's, you, you're evolving and they're not. That's what it sounds like. like you're, quite you're, honestly, you're, like, this ain't back in the day anymore. Yes, everything's static to them. You're judged mm -hmm. by what they remember you from 20 years ago. Bro, my circle of friends is a lot smaller than it used to be, and it's that way yeah. for a reason. Yeah, it's it's getting that way with me, man, and it's sad because I'm, uh, you know, these are people that my friends are the family I chose. I don't have much family. I don't mm -hmm. know about, about about how you guys feel about it, but my friends are, you know, people I let into my weird weird little world, and if I let them in. You know, the, the, that comes with a certain understanding of confidence, you know. I mean, we're not the mafia. It's not a fucking omerta. You can't speak about it, but... You didn't beat anybody in? You didn't have to whoop no, their ass? No, but you know, it's not blood in, blood out, but it's, it's, look, you come in, you keep your mouth shut, you know. We talk amongst each other, of course, Sounds but like it's... Uh, you got yeah. Vegas rules to your <laughs> friendships, man? Well, uh, dude, do you? No, no, I get, I get what you're saying, man. I'm just <laughs> if you okay. If you had a friend ass. you were trying to, if you had a friend you were trying to get in to a company that you, uh, you hypothetically worked for, and you were trying to get them in above and beyond, like the initial, you know, ground floor or a little bit above the ground floor. You're sticking you your neck on, out for somebody. Would you go in there and be like, dude, I remember this one time, this, he was on ecstasy and acid, he was candy flipping, and he fucking screwed this fucking Asian chick <laughs> until she shit herself and blah, blah. It would, no, you wouldn't have that story when you're fucking telling... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it's an awesome story, but it's not what you tell no, the guy trying no, to get him hired. A, no. it, it absolutely, man. No, man. I, I'm, I'm so many of my friends' references, and if I were to bring up, like, pittance of what they fucking have done, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, this one time we were out, and he was, wow, he dropped his drawers in front of a bunch of underage minors, right. you know, a bunch of minors. No, he, no, no, not, no. But, well, every, but everybody's got those friends that they won't get a job. Hey, man, why don't you give me the job? Yeah, no. 
<laughs> you know, I mean, every, everybody's yeah. got everybody's no. got those friends. Like, or how about the friend that you like want to get a job? You try to give him a job, and then they fucking turn it down. That's the mm-hmm. best. Oh like, boy! No, no, it's not right for me. Or it's like, what? What are you talking about? I can't afford that job. That job means I have to actually get up in the morning yeah. and go to work. Yeah. yeah. What? And because not getting up in the morning and not going to work is 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 I, paying your bills. I have a pretty good know, story right? regarding that. Actually, I have a, a a guy that was my friend. He's no longer my friend by his his choosing, which is mm-hmm. that's fine, you know. And I I still know what the fuck why, yeah. you know. But I really don't fucking care. But um, he was good at fixing my phone. He was good at fixing computers, and uh, I am too. So I was like, hey, man, you know, I've got some money. I'm going to start a computer company, but I need you to be my main tech during the day because I have to go to work. Mm -hmm. He didn't have a job. Well, no, it's not really worth my time. (laughs) (laughs) Really? (laughs) Yeah, really. So I'm like, okay. And then I had a customer of mine call me and say, hey, I I really need my computer fixed. I got something going on and I really need my computer. So I'm like, all right, I got a guy to call. I called my buddy and I sent him over there. Same guy. I sent him over there. He goes over there and doesn't fix the problem, but fucks it up even more so that the person actually has to, and he charges them. (laughs) <laughs> the person actually has to bring their laptop to me on my job site so that I can fix their fucking laptop that he <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And I gave I had to do the work for free because that was my recommendation. So it yeah. cost me money <laughs> and time. So, yeah, now I totally know where you're coming from, man. It's like, you know, you try to put your neck out there for somebody and then they fucking blow it. it it's like, dude, what, you know, like I, I'm willing to start a company here, not for you, but with you. And all you have to do is give me your time and you're going to be a partner. Like that was yeah. it. You're going to be a fucking 50-50 partner. All I'm giving is money and you're going to give your time as the main tech during the day because that's when right. people need their shit fixed. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> You got to play the AIDS friend song, really? Yeah. <laughs> Why's got to be the no, AIDS so, friend song? Because that's what this song was. It was an AIDS benefit song. But you would think that I would have dropped the friendship the right there, right? I thought when, it would have been. Right. You? No, ben- I didn't. It's benefit like, for all okay, these people's friends are careers. thicker than that. You know, like, okay, mm-hmm. I just learned something really valuable about my friend. Right. But, you know. Okay. Well, I mean, it, I mean, there's a difference between, you know, you, you, you help a friend and that friend, you know, accepts it. Or you try to help a friend. Friends. All right, I got, a, I got another I got How a funny many story. of us have them? Friends. <laughs> Let's be friends. I don't, I don't even like Houdini. <laughs> <laughs> I got a funny story from my daughter, from my daughter this, this evening. Um, so my daughter grabs my wife's phone and says, Okay, Google, what starts with P and ends with Orn? Oh. As my wife and my stomach drops... To the feet. It's popcorn, is what my daughter was asking for. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Luckily, Google didn't pick up on that. But No, yeah, they won't. Google, there's certain yeah. things that it won't automatically fill out. Google's now your parent. And the other, the yeah. other one, yeah, I know. Google and the other is one was, uh, what's the definition of high? And I'm like, oh, my God, give me the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, it was about height and not about. Yep. <laughs> I was like, whoo. They filter all that shit out. Oh yeah, they yep. They filter all gun shit out too. You can't look up purchasing of any guns yep. or much about and guns. Google's very Wait, political. Whoa, 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 whoa! You can't per. You, you know, can yeah, search. You can look it up. Mm. Yeah, but they won't show you. Like, believe me, I looked up. I looked up forty cal Beretta just recently. It came up. Yeah, but when you type shit in and it does the shopping. autocomplete, yeah, it shopping. won't autocomplete for uh, shit like oh, that. They oh, did change got it. you. Okay. They did change it though. No, I, oh, I now understand. they actually are understand. doing it. Okay, so they changed this, man. Honestly, this just this changed because you used to go to shopping and there'd be like no results found. Really? Like you couldn't even get you couldn't even get like uh, accessories to shit. NRA which, got to Google. Yeah, well, no, yeah. I, <laughs> well, Jay, what I was talking about was I was looking just for uh, info on it, mm-hmm. so I didn't go to shopping. I just looked, right. you know. I just did search. that, by the way. So I just you know negated my. I just turned myself into a liar. So, you refuted your own argument. I did. Thank you. I don't have that big word in my head. You're fading away, Jay. Yeah. No, I'm not fading. I don't have a very large vocabulary. You like that photograph in Back to the Future, You're slowly <laughs> yeah. disappearing. Yeah. <laughs> so, what were you looking up, Rich? <laughs> Rich, what were you looking up? Oh no, I, I looked up uh, uh, a Beretta 40 cal. Oh, are you looking to get one? Uh, uh, <laughs> well, we I mean, have to edit this part out. Yeah. No, we don't. Well, no, no, no. I, I, I used to have a Beretta nine. 
Um, but yeah, I don't know. We can get you know looking back in the in the shooting, but it's just too expensive, man. Fuck I mean, yeah. especially when you when you put in. I mean, rounds these days, shit. It's, it's, it's a lot different than when I when I owned one. Yeah, it's not as bad as it was though. Although, what I have six rounds in my my gun right now that are probably three dollars a piece. So, well, that's what, well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, just I, it, it, part <laughs> of part of part of what I'm going through is trying to keep myself busy. Yeah, in my downtime oh, and. Uh, you know, wow, that's really loud, Chris. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. It's not too bad for us. I don't know. That's weird. I, no, it's, it's killing me. It's killing I'm him? sorry. There's nothing else I can adjust. We're all we all have the same feed, so. Gotcha. I, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I'm talking no, to no, Chris because he's yeah. looking at me to fix it, and I have no solution. Unfortunately, fix it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Damn it! Can but you no, hear that um, right now, Rich? I'm sorry. Say, say again, Jay. Can you hear that right now? Yeah, very low. Okay. Right. Um. But no, you know, I, I, I'm a gun guy, as right. you guys have pointed out multiple times. Shooting is something that I enjoy, you know, I'm not shooting at things. No, no targets, target shooting. Yeah, I yeah, exactly, target, target yeah. shooting. Um, you know, so it might be something I wanted to get back into, but it's just, wow, it's really, it's a lot more expensive than it was yeah. when I yeah. when I did it 15, <laughs> almost 20 years ago, yeah. so. yep. Yeah, it's just it's killing me because I'm I'm trying at, to look for. If you're looking at forty cal, especially forty cal. Well, I mean the forty cal would be because well you know I I sorry if I, I I've come to this realization what I make I'm going to have to live in the hood and uh, you know uh, sorry I, I'm 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 if I'm going to have to live in a bad neighborhood I'm going to protect myself if that makes me a bad person so fucking be it. I don't even think you can use the word hood anymore. What? What? No, how would that make you a bad person? I just told you I have one with me. <laughs> you know, I'm in fucking Macomb County, man. <laughs> you know, like, come on. <laughs> that's the hood right there. <laughs> yeah, right. No, that's. I was asked by a cop one time. He's like, so you carry a firearm around Macomb County? I'm like, yes. He's like, why? I'm like, because just because Macomb County doesn't mean I'm not going to get fucking held up or something. You ever been to Roseville, officer? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> well, he's a friend of mine, so he actually lives in Sterling Heights, so. Well, that's why I asked why. Yeah, you don't. That's <laughs> like it was in don't. the whitest community in the well, planet. Like most Chaldean <laughs> community oh. in the planet. That's outside of sixteen mile area. Yeah, all right. How many songs about shooting does ACDC have? <laughs> Two so far. <laughs> no. I know, and they're Australian on top of it. Yeah. Uh, really? You, you oh, need man. a gun? Well, you do need a gun in Australia. Let's be honest. Yeah. No shit. Well, you can't have one. Fucking you penal colony. That's, defend your that's kids why you against the dingoes. You cannot have one, right? That's where England sent all their prisoners 300 yeah. years ago. I know. It's Fucking awesome. criminals. And then they it goes, reproduced. It goes back to a quote I remember from uh, hearing it when I was a kid about John Steinbeck. When they tell you you can't read a book, that's the book you need to read. Yep. So. Oh, uh, when um, they, you sent me something. Uh, Chris sent me something about uh, campus carry. Uh, concealed campus carry in Texas has become is going to become legal. Mm-hmm. Um, and all the colleges are up in arms because now they have to so spend to millions and millions and millions of dollars for quote unquote physical security for the campuses. What? Yeah. Like they haven't what? been anyway. Right. They have to spend millions more because now they have to put gun lockers in is what they're saying. I don't know why they have to add to their public safety department. I don't know why. Why wouldn't they do that anyways? In the first place, if you're having fucking rape problems, that's probably really fucking loud to him. So, um, no, that's good. You guys are good. Yeah, it, it's like, it's crazy. Like, I think it was Texas A&M has to spend like $7.7 million on security upgrades. What? And And if you're going to carry a well, firearm on campus concealed, you have to attend like two classes yeah. that have to do with, you know, um, training. Shoot them in the nuts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm tra- probably like making training. enough money, though. Well, they said that that's going to bounce back onto the students, and well, like there's students like that are upset. Yeah, there's students that are upset about it because you know they're not, you know, they're not going to feel safe and this and that. It's like, wait a minute. Usually, people who have concealed carry permits are like the most law-abiding fucking people you've ever met. Right. You usually, usually, you know, they're not. It, it's. But what it's gonna, what's going to happen is, you know, the first person that gets their gun taken from them and used against them, that's going to fucking totally make the law get repealed. Yeah. So, yeah. 
but that's not a likely scenario from a responsible no gun carrying person which is the type of person who gets usually gets permitted and everything yeah uh, it's funny i actually just read a uh, uh um resume today of a guy mm-hmm. that want, you know it's applying at our company and on his resume actually says michigan state police and then next to it says you know concealed pistol license and it's like you put that on your fucking resume <laughs> 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 like uh, okay i mean Whatever. Is he from Texas? No, he's from here. It's a resume-worthy thing in Texas. Oh, it's from here. Well, I mean, you know, considering it is for a security-type position. Okay, makes but, sense, maybe. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Shit, I told my company. Oh, okay. Just so you know, right. you don't have to issue me a gun. I already have my own. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but it's not that. It's not. We don't. I don't work for a physical security company. I work for the electronics portion of security company you know well michigan michigan is an open carry state oh yeah oh uh, yeah and here's here's the thing i've ran into is most people who are who live in michigan and open carry are fucking assholes hey, amen brother <laughs> i think we talked I about mean, this last podcast yeah, 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 i did. brought it up because i think you guys had asked me how i felt about it it's like why do you want to be a fucking target right well, That's I mean, I, you know, I have a, a, an acquaintance who I've known for the better part of two decades. And he's the type of guy who, you know, went through high school and was kind of a kind of a nerdy guy. And then all of a sudden he disappeared for a little bit and he comes back and he goes, hey, I, I, I went to, I joined the Navy and I became a Navy SEAL. Right on. And that's not usually you know, something you announce, but right on. <laughs> exactly. And, 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 you know, everyone was like, well, we've known this guy forever and he's a pathological liar anyway. So uh, we're just going to let him run with it. OK, you're a Navy SEAL. And the problem was, is that eventually, as will happen in life, you start meeting other people and other people come into your group. And someone came into the group that actually served in the Navy and dealt with SEALs. So he was able to ask the correct questions to weed that out, huh? All he did was ask him how Bud's was, and this guy sat there with a deer in headlights look. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Buzz? Buds. 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 Mm-hmm. Basic underwater demolition, and I can't remember exactly what else it's for, but uh, anything. Buds is what every SEAL has to go through. It's uh, training every SEAL has to go through. And for this guy to sit there with a with a, with a a deer in headlights look. He was in the Navy and he didn't know that. Ex- but see, there we go. Was he in the Navy? Right, you you right. get what I'm saying. You I get, get where it, I'm, yeah. I'm going with this. Have so. you ever met a Navy SEAL? Have I personally? Yeah. yeah. I haven't. Uh, no. Dude, I will tell you what. You, you can fucking tell yeah. the difference between somebody who is in the military and a special forces person. No, well, I've met a lot of recon Marines. I met my, my grandfather was a LERP in the, okay. in the Army during World what? War II. Uh, Long Range Reconnaissance Patrol. LARP? And, uh, LERP. LERP. Long Range <laughs> Reconnaissance Patrol. It's, yes, it's yes, military jargon. It's. Yeah. They love acronyms. Yeah, know, yes, so. yeah, yeah. They're like fucking IT nerds. They. <laughs> but no, uh, <laughs> he never struck me as this, this type of guy ever. Well, uh, I have an uncle who was who's a Navy SEAL, who was a Navy SEAL in Vietnam, and the dude can look through your soul. <laughs> hey, he's got that thousand yard stare. <laughs> exactly, and every, I mean, you've met special forces people. Every one of them have that look. Like there's just yeah. a look, like. I don't know if it's the I fucking killed somebody look or the I've been through so much shit you wouldn't even understand you fucking minute ant. Or how about the <laughs> I could kill you and nobody would ever know look. I think that's, it's mostly. That's I, what I think it's. I think it's a combination. I, of those I think three. it's mostly just like uber confidence and like humility. Like it's just absolute. Um, the kind of person that allows everybody they come in contact with to keep on living. Yes. <laughs> None of your lies really. really mean much to me. Right. No, right. You, you're, yeah, you're collateral damage. That's well, the thing, the thing is about my grandfather is, is you know, being a LERP and, and in World War II, you know, he, he, he saw seen a lot shit. of shit. I've seen his DD-214. He, he saw a lot of shit, and he never really talked about it. Now, once he developed Alzheimer's and he got to a certain point, he would forget and start talking as if my uncle and myself were people that he knew from back in the day. And it, right. he'd start telling stories, and I was, I was like, yo, Grandpa's fucking crazy. Yeah. What the fuck's wrong with Grandpa? And my uncle would be like, 
This is what he's been hiding this entire time. You know, I mean, you know, this is the shit he did. And I mean, those World War II veterans, they weren't like the Vietnam veterans. They come back home and they were they were considered heroes and, you know, ticker tape parades and all that shit. Oh, yeah. And then they buried everything that they did deep down inside because that's what they were told to do. That's what they were raised to do. A lot of the non-vets did too, but they were a little more sensitive. Well, the Vietnam vets came back to, fuck you, baby killer. It was, a, it was an unjust war. Right. You shouldn't have been there, you know. And it, it turned into a, an anti, anti-troop type thing right and so you had a lot of vietnam vets who who got a chip on their shoulder in my mind rightfully so because hey we were fucking drafted right we didn't have a fucking choice it's not like we signed up for this shit you know well now you have you know the 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 iraq vet, the iraq part two or v v 1.2 uh vets coming home and you know nobody fucking cares yeah like, exactly. It's nobody exactly. fucking care. Oh, you're in Iraq? Oh, how? Oh. I actually huh. just watched a short. Somebody's got to do it. I just watched a short on this, okay? This guy, it w- and it was like, you know, I know it was just a short movie, whatever, but it was all about this guy coming home. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I should let you finish your point. No, go ahead, please. Um, it was about this guy coming home for literally a week a week leave mm-hmm. and he's with his girlfriend and they're like walking into the house he goes you know what i want to do i want to sit down i want to watch netflix i want to get pizza or chinese or fuck it let's get both on a nice quiet evening you and me da, 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 da. they walk into the house and it's a fucking surprise party for him oh, geez. and he was cool with it you know he was yeah. cool but it was kind of like you could tell he's like fuck you know right and then all of a sudden, like, these people are just, like, all over him, like, asking him questions and stuff like that. And, you know, they're smoking pot and they want to, you know, hey, you want to hit, man? Like, no, you know, I, I, I'm i active. I can't right. be doing yeah, that Yeah, I shit, can't you know? do that. All right. You know, and he was having a couple of drinks and this and that. And finally, he, like, they asked him, you know, like, what what was going on? Da, 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 da. So he starts telling the story about how there was a dog with a bomb strapped to him running towards his platoon. And he was kind of, it was like kind of a ha ha story between him and his, his platoon, you know, like the guys he's with, you know, (laughs) and how he had to shoot the fucking dog. (laughs) And they like actually named the dog and all this stuff. And like, these people were like just absolutely appalled, horrified. <laughs> yeah, horrified. And like one girl actually got up and left, kind of like disgusted. And then like he, you know, he kind of like everybody else, kind of like was like oh, uh, 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 all awkward and started talking amongst themselves. So he got up and went outside, and his girlfriend came out and was like, "I am really, really sorry." And he's just like, "It's all right." He's like, "I just, you know, they're not going to understand." Right. I'm not saying that I do, but goddamn, yeah. man, like I would not fucking pounce on somebody like well, that. It's one of the things I heard. I, I heard um, and here, excuse me. I read an article from a, a, a three tour vet, and I hold on. Well, I'll, I'll try to look it up while I'm talking to you guys. But anyways, it was um, a list of things that that Iraq War vets never want to hear anyone say. Don't thank ever me, again. Don't thank me for my service. That's kind of yeah. fucked up to me, honestly. There's it, there's that. Um, one is I tried to join. I would have joined, but all that. Um, and and it, what it boiled down to is is that that civilians don't understand that these guys who who you know they joined up it's obviously through whatever a sense of duty or whatever you know uh, you know uh, their family did it and they have to do this to be a man so so to be a man I have to go through this and I have to kill another man and you know. Sheep they dogs, get there man. and they, they find out it's 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 not what television and movies have have portrayed it to be, and they come back home, and people are just like, you know, stick their hand out, hey, thank you for your service, and and blah blah, and they're like, yeah, well, what do you know about my service? Yeah, I, I can imagine a lot of these guys are like, you don't know what you're thanking me for. Right. Right. Exactly. Some, some feel like, don't thank me for what I no, just did. I empty. usually say, thank you for keeping them fuckers over there. Yeah. <laughs> it, but it's like maybe one step up of or like a hashtag of support the troops yeah. or something. You know, it's like it's an empty gesture. It takes nothing. Pro- probably. But the, I mean, at the same time, like, I ain't doing that. Right. I don't like, have to. I ain't even gonna did. say I tried right? to sign up. Like it yeah. clearly avoided. I just, no, I do not want to do that. Someone's got to go. You but know. see, as as someone as someone who whose family entire family served, 
and for the most part served during wartime and someone who tried to join up during peacetime and then washed out on a medical i feel like a fucking failure and here's here's the fucked up part is that my family who actually served during wartime will be the first ones to tell me you're lucky yep. you're lucky you didn't have to go through this you're lucky that you had that fucking heart condition you're lucky and i'm going but wait a minute i'm not a man i didn't prove myself like you did and they go what the fuck do you think do you think what we went through made us men no, what makes us a man is surviving the shit that we went through and then being good parents and good husbands and good this. And I know it sounds like a fucking encounter session, but this is what I've heard, not only from family members. But I mean, they're right, man. Work. Like, my dad served, and I, it was it was not an option for me when I got out of high school. Oh, right? my dad was so fucking pissed when I went and signed up for the Marine Corps. He See, like, my fuck. He's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? So I was yeah, told, exactly. you'll go to college, you will work. He said, yeah. the services, I was told it was not yeah. an option for me, because my dad did it, and it's, fuck that. You're not doing that yeah, shit. You know, he's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? He's like, what do you, what do you think you're doing? Like, what are you trying to prove? Yeah, have you guys ever seen the movie Boys in the Hood? Oh, yeah. yeah, of course. Okay, there's a line in there where uh, the father says to the son, there's no place for a black man in a white man's army. Now, stop for a second before we make a judgment on that statement and, and, and turn it into this. There's no place for a poor man in a rich man's army. And that is what my father was trying to tell me. Yeah. And it was only years later after I talked to him and I was like, you know, I feel like a failure. I never proved myself. I never went through boot camp. I never, you know, I, 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 and he goes, do you think killing someone makes you a man? Do you understand the shit that goes through your head when you kill someone? They, like, uh, you just took a life. And you, you, don't, you don't know what the life you just took. He may be a father, you know, an uncle. You don't know. Somebody's and that shit's going to weigh that's on your mind son. unless you're a sociopath. Yeah, that's somebody's son you just wiped out. Exactly. Daughter. You just made someone's life worse by doing what you just did. You did not make someone's life better. And I'm going, wow. I'm, I, you know, I'm, and I was a kid, and I was like, well, that's some deep shit, Dad. But still, <laughs> I didn't prove myself. Yeah. Like, that's what I was, that's the trip I was on. I, dude, you know what, man? I still kind of feel that way. I'm still kind of bummed out I didn't get to do the military thing. Because, like, I had a whole plan that I was going to do. You know, I was like, go in the fucking Marine Corps, be an yes, MP, sir. and come out and be a cop. That's what I wanted to do. Well, well see, here's the thing. Are, are, were you more in, in, enthralled with the fact of, because I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I was more enthralled with the fact of the military than I was with actually going to war. No, man, I, I considered myself a patriot. And that's what a patriot does for his country was serve in the military. It wasn't anything to do with killing. It, it, it wasn't anything to do with guns. It wasn't exactly, any of that. Yeah. It was all about being a patriot because right now I have an American flag tattoo on my arm and I don't feel I deserve it because I didn't earn it, you know? And it's like, hmm. it, it, but that's just my personal mentality. I'm right. You know, it, it, no, I, I know there's like, at you the know, same time, you don't feel you earned it. All right, we'll do this. Take a citizenship test. If you pass yeah. it, you know oh, what? Yeah. You earn that fucking American flag. Oh, I earn it. You're still here, right? I pay taxes. I mean, <laughs> you didn't go to Canada. <laughs> I pay my taxes, and I bitch about things. I almost That's... said Walmart there, but I told hey. these guys, they could tell me, shut up, I talk about Walmart. It's more again. American than that. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I know, but it's just, but my my mentality when I got that flag was, I was, yeah, right. I didn't have... Come I, didn't, on, I wouldn't have, kill that. I wouldn't Come have found on, that funny <laughs> back then, you know, like I really wouldn't have. It was all about like, yeah, man, this is, you know, what I do. I'm, I, you know, I didn't know the term sheepdog back then, but that's really my mentality. Like I am, mm -hmm. uh, I'm the kind of person you stick in the shit. Like, that's just it. I will fucking keep my cool under, under the most stressful situation. And, you know, I wanted that yep. to be honed. And, and my main thing also was that with my attention deficit disorder, I really wanted the discipline and to learn that part of myself. I wanted to That's put where myself I'm talking through about, it. the military part. Yeah, I wanted to put myself through that. You know, and ever since I was a kid, I don't know what it was that drew me there. Maybe it was just all the freaking war movies that, you know, our age group went through and shit. Oh, yeah. And, too much G.I. You know, Joe. Right. Too much G.I. Joe and my whole family like it's just yours. just nothing like the, the no, actual like, military. No, you know, my whole it family isn't. like yours. <laughs> no, it's a fucking government ghetto, dude. That's what the military is. A government ghetto. You ever been to a base? Holy fuck. No. Oh, fuck that. But no, I mean, it's like I still really wish I could have been part of that because there is a it's still a brotherhood kind of a thing that i really no, wish yes, i could have been that, part of 
you know. That is that is that is very much true. And that is why I guarantee you were attracted to the Marine Corps same way as I was. Cuz it was because the hardest fucking one to go to. That's why. Not only that, but once you belong, you are there forever and it's a core. Mm-hmm. It's that Marine, I don't care if he hey, is he white? Then he's a light green Marine. Is he black? Then he's a dark green Marine, but he's still my fucking brother. Right. And I know this, that motherfucker will die for me as quick as I'll die for him. Now, let's be honest, though. That's not the truth, dude. No, it's not the truth. And that, you know, no, it's, I was attracted to the Marine Corps from an uncle of mine who was in Korea and just, you know, talking to, I couldn't be in the Navy because I just couldn't be in the Navy. You know, it just wasn't my cup of tea. Yeah, I know. I, in the Navy. Yeah. Well, no, it was. It was damn courtesy, courtesy to give him a reach around. Yeah. I'll be watching you. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. I know that word for word because my Marine recruiter, my, I had a Marine recruiter who three times a week we PT. Once a week we drilled. Pussy taste with, with 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 M ones. Okay, and every time it was it was Gunnery Sergeant Dispro. He was the, he was the one that led the the recruiting station. Uh uh. uh Sergeant Cooney, he was the one that led the actual PT. He would play parts of the first half of fucking Full Metal Jacket and be like, gentlemen, this is what you're going into. Yeah, not really. Now, That's Hollywood it up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but we were so pumped. We were oh, like, right. that's right. We want that. Give it to <laughs> us. Give it to us. Say I'd go into the military if you can guarantee me it'd be like Biloxi Blues. <laughs> <laughs> No man, I, that, I just not it, it is actually. Can I say something? I've no. I've actually heard from the because, like I said, I washed out. I've heard from people who've actually made it through through uh, late eighties, early nineties boot camp that stripes. Yeah, is probably closer to the truth that you're going to have Shut that <laughs> big toe conversation. You know, Bill Murray's going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I mean, no man, it's it's. Here's the thing. Here's here. Think about it, okay? Jay, you and I, for whatever reason, feel the need to put ourselves through misery to prove right. something. Yep. What the fuck is the point of that? Well, it's more to pro- it's not to prove it to anybody else but myself. But ourselves. Honestly. Yeah, because it's like, I just, you know, uh, it's, it's the sheepdog mentality, man. It's really what it is. It's, uh, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not here to be led. I'm here to lead. And it's not necessarily, I, I don't want to control things. Yeah, you want to you join know. the Marine Corps, the biggest? <laughs> Do you understand right. the no, irony? I understand the irony in that. But it was, it was not about the Marine Corps. It was about the career path I wanted to take after. Because I wanted to be in law enforcement. Not a cop necessarily, but law enforcement. Like FBI, ATF, DEA, something of that nature where like you really need to have the military background to do that. I wanted higher, like, I wanted the fucking security clearance that I have now, which is what I have. <laughs> so I did, I did it without the fucking Marine Corps, but I just wanted that for myself, man. It was a personal fucking resume that I wanted to have. Um, why did I want to do it? It was, it was just, it wasn't about going to war. And it wasn't that I was afraid to go to war or not go to war. It was about just fucking, you know, belonging somewhere. So you, what was your, well, if, if you had your druthers and you'd have been, you know, you'd have went through boot camp and let's say... <laughs> By the grace of uh, whatever God, I pick everything. <laughs> yeah, you could pick your MOS. What would your MOS have been? Uh, Psychops. Okay, mine EOD, baby, and that's insane. That I look back at thirty-seven years End old on my fucking eighteen-year-old self and go, "Are you fucking serious?" Yeah, you no. understand them fuckers don't retire. Right, right. And I if want, they do, you know, yeah. they're not. It's not with all of their fucking limbs the right. fuck is wrong with me no i'd have been psychops or communications that was that was See? what my uh that was what i had aaron and i are over here like <sighs> yeah whatever guy <laughs> yeah i'm trying to think of what the communications gi joe guy was called. Well, i had fucking <laughs> flat out blown out my fucking asvab and the air force wanted i was uh, sick the day of the asvab i never took it so i never <laughs> had <laughs> recruiters oh, bothering I, me i fucking like dude i i like 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 walk to the fucking trailer, dude. Like I, I heard, was like, I heard horror stories of recruiters just hunting down my friends. It's like I never took the ASVAB, so I, I never had that experience <laughs> ever. I got oh bothered like God. once or twice in high school. It's like, oh, nope, no, sorry, dude. going to college. I had a fucking right, Air a Force, one. dude. We will get you in the nuclear program. Blah yep. blah blah blah. Nuclear. Blah. <laughs> yeah. So they were ahead yeah. of the curve. Yeah. They knew W was coming. Yeah, I, I yep. wrote something snarky on my test and got lectured <laughs> by one of the recruiters there. No, and so the you, Marines you were think like, you're too good 
to join the military the the, the marines were like um really you want to join the marines I'm exactly like, i'm like yeah they're like what like no really you really like really you know <laughs> like I'm seriously like, yeah like, i want to join the, marines. the guy's like seriously you can pick you could go to the Air Force. I'm like, I don't want to be a fucking pussy Air Force. <laughs> you know, and he started laughing. He goes, all right, like that Tom Cruise to you, Right bitch. there, he went, they're a Marine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey, You're hey, Marine. welcome to the suck. Come yeah, on right, in. Right, exactly. Yep. He's like, okay. And then, yeah, I found out that yeah, I like I, I didn't, they weren't giving um, uh, waivers for my problem. So, oh, dude, I walked in and I walked in with a buddy of mine and I was like, all right, so cool. All right, we're here. And uh, Marines, my my favorite uncle was a Marine. All right, so I want to be a Marine. And <laughs> Gunny was like, why? Yeah, what's wrong like, with you? <laughs> I'm like, uh, and by the way, at this point, I was 260 pounds. I had hair down to the crack of my ass. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I looked at him, I said, because my uncle was. And he goes, well, what the fuck's that got to do with you? And I said, I don't know. He said when he joined the Marines, it was during Vietnam. He goes, he joined the Marines for, during Vietnam? I said, yeah, he got, he, got his, he got his fucking card and went through shit. And they said, basically, you know, either you're in the Army or you pick a branch of the, air, you know, of the military. And he goes, I'll, I'll choose the Marines because I want to kill people for a living. Yeah. And he goes, and Gunny, Gunny Dispro's like, so that's why you want to join? I'm like, no, not really. He goes, why do you want to join then? I'm like, because I'm part of something. I'm part of a core. Yeah. And by the way, what turn I- that shit down. Whatever you, <laughs> it, that shit is. It's, like, it's on the volume that you've been saying has been working. It's not working now, sir. <laughs> <laughs> huh. But anyways, long story short, he was like, so why do you want to join? I'm like, because I... You know, 1775, Tons Tavern, blah, 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 blah. That's when Marine Corps was born. And and I started giving him all this shit. And he goes, oh, shit, you you really want to be a Marine. And I'm like, exactly. Yeah, I want to be a fucking Marine, man. I want, I want that title because that title is something you don't lose. Lee Harvey Oswald is a former Marine that killed John Kennedy. Well, yeah. Well, allegedly. You know, yeah, well, <laughs> whatever. We can say wrong, that, whatever. Per- wrong person, whatever. but you know what I mean. You yeah. know, like, that's a former Marine. You would never lose that title. No. You earn that title. You don't wear that Eagle Globe and anchor. No. Unless you earned it. Right. And if you get caught wearing that shit, you will get fucked like, up like, rightfully so. Like 50 Cent when he's wearing his fucking, wearing those dress blues and it like has the top oh. three buttons unbuttoned and he's, yeah. That. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> November 10th, every year, I watch this at the VFW my mom, my mom worked at. It's the Marine Corps birthday and they have a Marine Corps birthday cake. First slice of cake goes to the oldest Marine in the room. Second slice goes to the youngest Marine. And if you ain't a fucking Marine and you step two, oh, shit. You're that's not good for cake. you, sir. You're it's not good get for your you. ass beat cake is no what you're cake for you. <laughs> get a fist cake. No, but you know what, man? Um, knowing the Marines that I know now, knowing the Marines I know now, like, yeah, they didn't come out very well. <laughs> exactly. They didn't come out too well. I mean, I know, like, Two Marines out of about 20 that are, like, got their head on straight. The rest of them yeah. are just, like... The one guy I knew who became a Marine was a psychopath in high school. Yeah. Well, that's who you have a fucking Marine. And that was, well, see, that's yeah. the thing. That's the thing. Like, it, it, that's the... That is the... Uh, what do you call it? The, the the stereotype that people want to believe that that everybody who yeah. joins the Marines yeah. are crazy. No the, no, the truth is you get a lot of people who join because one, be honest with you, they fell for the dress blues commercial yep. with the sword. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the dragons? They, yes, yeah. yes, they fell for that. The few, they fell the for proud, that. the Marine. The Marines. dragon slayers. I was Man. told there would be dragons. When do I get to fight the dragons? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and let me tell you, yeah, yeah. Then you get the guys who are like, I want to kill people. Yeah. All right. Well, they're crazy. Like you homeboy know, like, in full metal jacket. To get some. Get some. Like that yeah, guy. It, yeah. Yes. Yes. I've killed 500 women and children, and that's not even including Buffalo. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. Whatever the fuck you said. I can't remember exactly. But no. Yeah. That that type of guy. Then you get the guys who join because they feel it's an obligation. But if, if they're going to if they're going to join the military, then they want to join something that's a brotherhood. 
Yep. And they want to know that years later, if they survive what they went through, they'll meet someone else who went through it and they'll look at them and they'll go, hey, man, what, part, uh, what branch? Core? Semper Fi, sir. Right there, you know? And, 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 and they'll have that. It, it's a brotherhood. It's something that is always there. And that's what I wanted. Yep. And what I didn't understand is that I don't need. Nope. <laughs> to join a, a branch of the military to have that i just need to have friends what i've realized rich is the fact that anybody who goes to college or the military loses that many years of their life of growing up because they get stunted at the age that they go for in. sure i'll yeah. agree with yeah. that yeah. one million yeah. percent oh, one, of, one of my one of my best friends uh uh I people like graduated said with me, he said, he said you know what you know what the marines yeah. you know what the marines slash the military allows you to do i said uh, no he goes allows you to not grow up stagnate yep. yeah get you, yeah, yeah. get you 10 percent off at lowe's <laughs> what you need uh, is vonnegut's system uh, his vision for the future Have you ever read uh any kurt vonnegut rich oh man you're asking me is, yeah, I, I did back in the day but man it was it was something i read just because i had to his fa- so so give it to me and i'll well, see if i remember it my, my favorite book that he wrote was called slapstick and it's about these twins and one of them becomes president and he incorporates a system of having a another name like a general name that is shared amongst a certain number of the population of the world so Let's say it's a color and I'm Aaron Redfield green and I go somewhere and I meet somebody else who is, has green as part of their last name as well. Okay. And, it, and uh, he actually uh, creates peace around the planet with this system because everybody has, you know, you can't blow up that nation because there's greens in there. Those are like <laughs> part of my family. Anyway, it's a, yeah, the wild you. concept, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it works in this fiction. So everybody has to fuck. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone will. You're like randomly assigned this by a lottery. When you're born, you're you know you have your your name and your parents' name or your family name, and then you're randomly assigned this like global name as well. So global tribalism. But Rich, yeah. you'll yes. understand that's, this. That's exactly it. That's 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 a you've you hit the nail on the head because it gets rid of like Look at me holding the hammer. Right. It gets rid of, uh, you know, I'm going to stick with these guys because they're the same color as me or because yeah. I feel like we have the same ethos or... I mean, like yeah. we do now anyways. You'll yeah. understand you this, meet, Rich. You meet a, a brother that shares your name somewhere. From another that, mother? That, yeah. yeah, brother from another mother that, you know, might be completely different culturally and, and whatever. The, the, All right, so Jay, go ahead. The, 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 yeah. absolute, the absolute, like, fucking pure self-disappointment when you're turned down and, like, the crash that occurs for me personally after you're turned down from the military. Yeah. Dude, I cannot tell you how many fucking drugs I did right after that. <laughs> seriously. Oh, shit. Like seriously, I, I like fucking personally crashed because it was my world, my plans, my everything was gone. Can I can I ask you a question? Mhm. Were you doing them drugs before? You was Not those drugs, no. Exactly. 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 Dude, I never tried acid. Till I was 21. I never took ecstasy. I mean, no, no, no. I understand that what I'm about to say is going to you know, put me yeah. on a certain whatever. But whatever. no, because growing up, it was you, ha- you have to stay clean yeah. to go to the military. Right. You have to you have to sit there in front of, the, you know, in front of that guy at MEPS. And when he goes, have you ever smoked weed? Well, I experimented with it. Well, how many times do you experiment with it? Once or twice. You know, and and that's and that's a waiver. Wham! Yeah, right, right there. Right, right. You know, like you can't you can't be like oh, fuck. I, of course, I smoked weed. I smoked weed every fucking right. day. No. That, that's I was high when I was like, I want to join the Marine Corps. I smoked so much weed yep. it made me gay. I did say no to that question. <laughs> That'll way. keep you out of the military. I did say no to that question. By the way, you lied. I did lie about that one. Okay, mm. but no, man. It, and it was it was yeah. After after the, I I washed out. And it, 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 it I, I was like, I don't know what to do. And that's when it was, let Fuck me it. eat acid, let me do this, let me party, let me do this. And then I, here, here's what's fucked up, and here's where, where Chris comes into my life. <laughs> I was like, Fuck it, what am I going to do? And, and, and literally, I was at work carrying a sidearm for security for ADT. 
and I called in a radio check, and the guy on the other end goes, damn, you got a good radio voice. You ever, th- <laughs> you ever thought about going to Specs? And I was oh. like, no, nah, not till now. And I looked in the Specs Howard, and they were like, of course, Specs Howard's like, uh, can we get you a Pell Grant? Can we get you a, can, can, can you sign for a loan? Yeah, we'll take you. Come on in. Come on in. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to be a DJ. Yeah, because I love music and blah, blah, blah. And, and that, that's that's where I met Chris. And then fast forward a, a whole decade, lot. Yeah. That's where we're here now. So Yeah, that was uh, pretty much what happened to me, man, was I just fucking bombed out, dude. I found out that I wasn't, I couldn't get the proper waiver. They weren't giving waivers for my problem that I'm not giving over the air. And that, that's fine. I, I had a couple of waivers. So yeah. I'll, I'll tell you because off his years. penis was too big. Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah, off they're years. like we do you not have, trip on that we, thing. <laughs> we we can't like, guarantee look at this fucking you're, ginger fuck. How we require two cocks. We don't, we don't allow gingers here, <laughs> sir. We can't guarantee your safety <laughs> with a cock that yeah. big in the military. That's not, yeah, exactly. Especially not a freckled one. There's gonna be a bunch of stolen from ginger fucking. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for clicking. Thanks for liking. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for subscribing for free by clicking through the iTunes banner on ChristopherMedia.net. Thank you for telling a friend. I probably already said that, but that's how important it is because that's how podcasts work. Uh, we drop every Monday and Thursday. Check out all of the other shows on ChristopherMedia.net. So stay tuned. Thanks for listening, and we will catch you next time. If you enjoy this show and want more people to know about it, head on over to iTunes, leave a comment, and rate it five stars. Make sure you like and share us on Facebook, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Just search for Christopher Media. Thank you in advance for supporting Christopher Media by clicking on the PayPal button and by clicking through to all the sponsors who support ChristopherMedia.net. Most importantly, we would like to take the time to extend an extra special thanks to you. Christopher Media could not exist without your support. Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net, and thank you for listening christopher media let's make some noise the sweet aromas of the apple fritter cinnamon roll and blueberry muffin are hard to resist so making it home without reaching in your mcdonald's bag is no easy task 